most of us get way too worked up about everything in life. We're afraid of judgment, we're afraid of failure, we set uh, unrealistic expectations for ourselves. And when we do that, often you don't get very good results. One of the things I'm trying to get people to understand is that if you learn a little bit about yourself and your mind and your body, that there's certain things you can control and certain things in life you can't control. Start to itemize those. Practice your emotions. We, we tend to think that those aren't things that can be changed, and, and they absolutely can be. Uh, people have asked me before, you get any big shots there at the school? People are just gonna go out and haul ass. Every once in a while you run into somebody like that, so what do you do to calm them down? I said, we let them drive the cars. It's easy to think that your streetcar is fast, but you've never gone fast till you've gotten behind the wheel of a true purpose-built race car. Having the opportunity to go to the Frank Holly Racing School, have the tutelage and the insights from Frank Holly himself was truly something I never thought I'd get to do. But here I am. Today I'll be driving the Frank Ollie Super Gas Cars. They're Firebirds, fourth generation, powered by a 572 cubic inch big block Chevrolet, backed by a purpose-built Power Glide transmission, complete with trans brake. Now this is a tube frame car with a four-link rear suspension and big tire Mickey Thompsons on the back to help put all that power on the ground. There is nothing more exciting than big tire, big block car compared to anything else you've ever been in. You sure how to feel amazing. Yes, you can't. I mean, you tell me you hit the second pass, you don't have to worry about a thing. You just let the car drive. Here, let me tell you how excited he is. I'm going to hang my helmet right there. <laughs> the Supercom dragsters used in the Frank Holly Drag School are a 240 inch wheelbase, SFI rated to six seconds in the quarter mile, an undercover swing arm car, the latest design to get the Chevrolet power to the ground. Powered by a 572 cubic inch big box Chevrolet, backed by a power glide transmission, all you have to do is release the trans brake and launch like a rocket. Zero to 60 in 1.5 seconds. Of course, the centerpiece of all this is Frank himself. Now, you could go through his amazing career, one of the top 50 drivers of all time, named by NHRA, four-second club, one of only 14 drivers to ever win a national title in both a top fuel car and a nitro funny car. International Motorsports Hall of Fame, and an incredible guy who can help you on so many different levels. Behind every great operation, or more importantly, every great driver, is a great crew. The crew from the Frank Holly Drag School were phenomenal from top to bottom. Whether it be Matt, Craig, Jimmy, Jeff, or of course Paul, or even Frank himself, these guys put together an opportunity for you to drive where you don't have to worry about the car. You don't have to worry about fuel, spark plugs, setup, suspension, anything. You just have to get in, concentrate, listen to what Frank has to tell you, and get down to what you came there to do. Drive very, very fast. First full pass is amazing. You're thinking of everything past that first number two marker. Everything starts to get a little bit clearer, and you're looking for numbers and get ready to slow down. Amazing with their crew and the staff they have. It was a blast. It sees me getting into a car in the future for sure. 
fun. I love watching drag racing. I've watched it for years and then took a class of Frank Holly's about three years ago and it was awesome then and this was even better. It's fast and I love it. So inevitably, like all good things, they do come to an end. And my weekend with the Frank Holly Drag School did just that. I can't say enough about the crew, the cars, the fellow competitors that shared time with me on the track, and of course, the little bit of one-on-one -on -one time that I got with Frank Holly himself. You can not only start to perform better in our race cars, but in relationships at your job, just about everything else you do. It sounds kind of strange that you can go learn how to drive a drag race car and end up fixing a lot of other problems in your life. And I'm really careful to not overstate that, but that's what I hear back from the people who have taken our classes, that it's made transformational changes uh, other places in their life. Uh, I'm humbled by that.